Now, please, please, let me advise you. As a young man, as a young woman, grow large in your spirit. Grow very large. Give yourself to fasting. Give yourself to prayer now. I want to preach somewhere and one guy from a certain royal family in one of the south, south, southern states in Nigeria came and offered me an oil well. That happens to be an inheritance that fell to him in his family. So I, when he was offering me the oil well, I asked him, are you born again? He couldn't really give an account of the state of his soul. I said, okay, can we keep this oil well aside so that we attend to the issues of your soul? He got angry. Because nobody has ever, in his circle, people answer him, yes. Oh my God. I said, keep that stuff aside. Who told you I'm poor? So the guy got angry. It was two years later he came back. And he saw that it seems you are saying the, the truth. So he was now willing to swallow his pride so that we could talk about the state of his soul. Unknown to him, I, had, I didn't have any release to accept his offer. The purpose for which I met him was because of his soul. And when I'm done with his soul, and he's adequately handed out to a minister of the gospel that can superintend his process into destiny and purpose, my deal with him is over. The day you think that your prosperity is with men, you have become, you have fallen out of faith. And just in case you are a minister of the gospel, you are looking at the hands of the people you are preaching to with the hope that life will be better for you. You don't know Jesus. You know what? Go into the wilderness, find Jesus, know him, befriend him first before you come preach him to other people. A lot of people talk about faith. I see faith conferences everywhere and people don't live by faith. They don't know God enough to trust him. Told him no. And he got angry. Came back after two years. My answer was still no. Then he named me impossible. But we are still here. Hallelujah. May you come to that point where your treasure, your gold mine, and your oil well is the Holy Spirit. In those days, you'll be, you'll be, your mouth will not be bought. You'll be a speaker of truth. You'll be afraid of nothing. People that can kill the body and the soul, you will not be afraid of them. Huh? They can kill the body, but they cannot affect the soul. The one I fear can destroy both soul and body in the fires of hell. Once upon a time, somebody threatened me that they'll kill me. I said, oh! I'm not one of those who is afraid of death. No. I've seen death many times. I, was, I told you I was very sickly when I was a young child. I've seen death many times. I, oh my God. I'm not one of them. If my journey ends today and God allows me to pass into eternity, there's no regret for me. I serve Jesus. And I have no covenant with death. It means that my crown, oh my, you don't understand it. I'm not afraid of death. No. Never. You will never see me running from danger. No. No. Especially if God has spoken to me. You will see me going into danger in the heart of it. Are you there? God protects real servants of God. Hey. You don't know how many people died because of me last year. They were coming to do me harm and then they had accident and their skulls broke. And one of them was left to come and report and to beg. Oh. Jesus is real. I came to tell you so. Jesus. He's real. And I serve him. 